Hey everyone, welcome back to the History Seekers. Today we are in Port Hudson, Louisiana, and we're attempting to raise money for the Wounded Warrior Project by relic hunting. I know, it sounds kind of crazy, right? But here's our plan. We are going to take a cannonball fragment and a bullet and try to have them married together to make a knife. And we've teamed up with Randy Caston from the TV show Forged in Fire. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully we can raise a lot of money. Come on and go with us. Let's see what we find. There's it. There it is. See it right there? I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Nice. Pretty little three ringer. This one looks like it'll be good for a plan that we have. We'll kind of let the cat out of the bag. We have a friend. He won Fortune Fire and he makes knives, really nice knives. And then he's gonna take this bullet I just dug. You saw me dig it. We're gonna take that and we're gonna inlay it into the handle. It's radiating around, so it's big. I don't think it's a shell, but it could be a fragment. And that's good enough for us. Let's dig that up and see what it is. Try to, oh, look right there. Look right there. Let's see. Let's go in and get it. Look right there. That's a big piece of frag. That one will work. That will work right there. All right, guys, so we're gonna take this frag out. I think this one is gonna be our piece that we're gonna have made into a knife. Let's go and see uh, Randy. Hey, Randy, what's going on? I'm Heath Jones. Thanks, man. Okay. Man, we really appreciate you talking to us today and entertaining this crazy idea that we had. I think it's gonna be good. All right. I think it's gonna be a good idea. Well, let's go in. Uh, we got the stuff we're gonna give to you in there and, and show you all about it. Come on, Kevin. All right, Randy, so this is what Kevin told you about. We just dug that a little bit ago, and that is an artillery fragment we believe that's Confederate from the Battle of Port Hudson. Okay. Is that enough metal to work with? Oh, that's plenty of metal. It <laughs> okay. doesn't take very much to, to make one. Uh, I'll have to check and see what kind of metal it is and uh, okay. test it and see and see what kind of how and what kind of blade we can make out of it. I got you. So here is a bullet and here's, I know it's kind of a crazy idea. That's a three ringer that's, uh, that's from the Union side. So we've got a piece from the Union and a piece from the Confederacy. And our idea was make to you know raise money for charity. Sure. I so think be a great idea. this is something that excites me of using history or using something that means something to people. Cut some pieces off of this because you can't just make it out of the uh, cannonball itself, and we're gonna put it in a can. 1095 powder in with it and make a make a blade, a billet out of it, and then we'll go from there and make a blade. But the first thing we have to do is put this in our saw and. Uh, Cut it up in pieces so it's usable. Uh, you can't use it just like this. What we like to do is cut it in the smallest pieces as we can. Put them in can. We'll put them in some acetone. This takes a little while. None of it's fast. Okay, now that we've gotten some of our pieces cut up, you can see I cut it up in small pieces. Uh, just little fragments. The important thing about this is to keep it as clean as possible. So to do that, we use any means we can. Put a little acetone in there. And you'll see the acetone is cleaning it up, getting any oils or anything off of it. Uh, main thing you want to get is your oils and rust off of it as possible fine grind powder, steel. This is steel just in a powder form. And we're gonna add it to our little bit of the powder in the bottom of our can. Piece of our cannonball and drop it in and a little powder. And a piece of cannonball, a little powder. And we do this until we get it full. Now we've got it in the can, we've got it welded up. We've got us a little stick that we can hold on to it once we put it in the fire. Uh, tried our best to get all the holes out of it. We'll know when we stick it in the fire if it goes to spraying, but uh, it's a solid 
uh, powder, cannonball, billet, I mean uh, can, and we're gonna put it in there up to 2200 degrees, 2300, and uh, we'll start making. What are you doing here? Everything looks good on the billet. That is the billet. Right now we straighten it up, leveling it up. Make sure everything's flat. We'll clean it up and see what kind of pattern, if any, we get out of it and start getting our shape in it, our handle and our shape in it. Straightening jig. Yep. Got a straightening jig. We'll keep in it uh, just to keep it. Let it get cool, and it should be a straight blade. And we'll let it cool off, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll put it. So you cut this bullet in half, and it's going to go down inside of the handle, just like that. But he's going to engrave or uh, cut into the wood and inset it inside the handle. Yep, this is uh, leopard wood. And there it is. It's inlaid in there. I'll put epoxy in there and, and uh, glue it in. Even if you're not able to donate, you can help by commenting, liking, and sharing this video to help us get the word out to raise more money for our soldiers. We dedicate this video to all those who have made such great sacrifices so that we have our freedom. Thank you.